All right, all right, all right, guys. So I just got done watching Pacific Rim and IMAX 3D, and I figured I'd do a little uh, thoughts video here, telling my thoughts on the film. Uh, this isn't going to be like a traditional review video because, you know, everybody's already reviewed this. Everybody's already saw it. Everybody's ahead of me on this. But I have had a few people asking me what I thought of this film and a few people wanting to know what I thought about it once I saw it. So I figured I'd do this. Um, the first thing I have to say about this film is it has absolutely flawless CGI and absolutely flawless 3D. I mean, it is utterly amazing what they did with this film in those two aspects. Just unreal. I mean, I like how the how the, how the movie hits the ground running. You know, you, you get a brief uh, rundown of what's going on when these uh, big, huge uh, kaiju monsters start coming through like this portal under the ocean and how they... they were wrecking everything and mankind had to build these uh, weapons which were um, you know big machines uh, and, and then it just immediately goes into a battle and I love that now that first battle uh, you know it, I thought that you know I couldn't really tell what was going on it was just a big there was so much going on it was all up close and it was all you know like this and, and it was just hard to tell um, but I knew there was some badass shit going on. I mean, and and they do enough stuff to where you you can tell if the the, the monsters getting hurt or the human and the and the and the and the uh, Jaeger is getting hurt. Um, but you know, it, that's just a minor complaint. I mean, because you know the battles that start happening towards the end of this were just amazing. Um, like the ones that take place in uh, Hong Kong and then under the ocean. Uh, it's just, it's, it's great. Uh, but you know, the thing where, I, where I think that this movie succeeded more than where most movies of this, uh, type succeeds is it had a real good human element to it. A good, uh, character, uh, development and, you know, good backstory on the characters. You know, it wasn't just constant, you know, destruction and action. I mean, don't get me wrong, there was a lot of action, a lot of destruction in the film, but it just felt like they really did a much better job um, at flushing out great characters in this as opposed to like a Transformers film or you know, any of these other type of films that's been like this. I mean, it just, it, I think it's been a long time since we've had a movie you know, that had such great characters and all, the, and there was a lot of distinct characters in this, like the guy that played, uh, um, well, I know his one, his first name was Pentecost. They didn't really call him that, but I saw it on his badge. He was, he was also the, the pilot in, uh, Prometheus last year. I thought he was really good as like the leader of, of, um, uh, of the Jaegers, uh, and then the, the scientist that works there that um, taps into one of the kaiju's brains. I liked him. He he brought great comic relief um, and was just a really good character. And uh, Ron Perlman is like this guy that <laughs> he like kept uh, some of the uh, kaiju's body parts alive and some of the insects that were infesting him. I mean, it's, it, he, he was cool too, like a hard ass type guy. Um, I really liked, uh, the guy that played a Raleigh. And like I said, this isn't a normal review. I don't have names out or anything, but I liked him. I thought he did really good in that role. And then, uh, the, uh, Moku or Moku, whatever her name was. Um, she was great too and gorgeous. And I think that those two went together very well. They had a really good chemistry. I believe their relationship, um, you know, and how they came together. I like how this, you know, these machines, these Jaegers would like blend their minds together so they could run these robots. It was just genius. I thought it was really genius how they did this. And, you know, I've heard this movie described as being like Del Toro's love letter to the Godzilla films. And absolutely, it, it totally absolutely is. This makes me want to go home and, and pull out my Godzilla movies and watch them. I mean, it's just, it's so awesome and just great. And, I, you know, you have to see this film in IMAX 3D if you get a chance. 
Um, you know, I, I really wanted to see The Conjuring again. I was really torn. I almost went and seen it again, but I thought, you know what? I have to go see Pacific Rim while it's still in IMAX 3D, and I'm so glad I did, guys. It's well worth the ticket price. Um, this movie is just, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think this is probably the funnest movie I've seen since probably Scott Pilgrim. Um, it's just a great film all the way around. Very well paced. Never one time was I bored or wanting the movie to go just move along. I mean, it just, it, it really is a great film, guys. I'm going to give Pacific Rim a 9 out of 10 and highly, highly recommend it. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, yeah, go check it out now. Uh, I guess, a, you know, a sequel has been greenlit, which is really awesome. Um, there's definitely more room, uh, you know, for more stories you can tell by this. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is it. That is my thoughts on Pacific Rim. I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Later.